I mean, I think we've been through an amazing two to three years uh, with our debt crisis here, with the recession and everything that's happening. And I, and I think the thing that people really need to bear in mind as they watch current events is that what's happening in Greece and what's happening uh, in Europe with their debt crisis is what happened here. We've seen all this before. Uh, it's been a really rough two years for the global economy. I think it's going to be more rough as time goes by with the Europeans in their debt crisis. Uh, and that's what we're going to touch on, the place of the U.S. economy inside the global economy. And I think the key thing you find as you look at the global economy today is that debt is, in essence, uh, a globally traded commodity. It's, it's not something you load in a container ship like copper or cotton t-shirts, uh, but it is traded around the world uh, on a 24-hour basis in markets everywhere. And when you can take debt and you can shuffle it around inside other economies, uh, you lose track of what's happening really fast. And I think the fact that we are so interconnected and the speed with which things happen uh, makes it a tricky place right now. The thing that people, business people need to keep in mind is, is uh, much as you can learn uh, about the United States from living overseas. You know, if you, if you live overseas, you see things about the American economy and about American society that you don't see when you live right here and you're having domestic news consumption. Uh, I think the people who are best positioned are going to be the people uh, in, in um, uh, business and uh, economic positions today who um, have that big picture, who know where the American economy is uh, in the global economy. It used to be that the American consumer could drive the entire global economy. It's not true anymore. We're, we're a huge player. We're still the biggest economy in the world, and we will be for a time to come. But uh, right now, I, I think more than ever before, the American economy is dependent on the global economy. And I think business people and organizations who know that and who can structure their uh, marketing and their strategy to meet those needs are going to do the best. You do not have to be uh, Chevron or Ford to take advantage of the global marketplace. You can be in Phoenix, in a suburb someplace, with a, in an office park with a, a bunch of computers and do business globally as people have been doing now for a number of years just because of the digitization of information. If you can find a way to market yourself and sell your product online, then I, I think really you've got a leg up.